we encourage everyone to support Bishop Wooden as he preaches. He will be the guest speaker for the virtual Mountain Metro District Meeting, hosted by Superintendent Ronald Gates, to be held tonight at 6 p.m. here at the Upper Room. For those who cannot attend, Zoom information has been sent via constant contact. Bishop Wooden's message of deliverance will be available for viewing on our Facebook Live and YouTube Live platforms. Bishop Wooden will also be the guest speaker for the Greater Triangle District Meeting, hosted by Superintendent Will Nichols, to be held Tuesday, March 2nd at 7 p.m. The service will be held at Victoria's Praise Church of God in Christ, located at 2116 Page Road in Durham. Registration is required for this service due to social distancing. Additionally, Bishop Wooden will be the guest speaker for the South Carolina District Meeting, hosted by Superintendent Tommy Quick, to be held Friday, March 5th at 7.30 p.m. The service will be held at the Promised Land Church of God in Christ, located at 150 Kensington Drive in Spartanburg, South Carolina. The Ministers in Training class, scheduled for Tuesday, March 2nd, has been canceled. Please update your calendar accordingly. Everyone is invited to intercessory prayer to be held Wednesday, March 3rd at 6.30 p.m. Please join us around the altar. Be sure to join us as we partake of the communion ordinance next Sunday, March 7th, during the 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. services. Ladies, get ready for the return of Second Tuesday Night Sisters, beginning March 9th at 7 p.m. This time, the featured book will be The Deborah Anointing by Michelle McLean Walters. Registration has been sent via constant contact, and you must register to receive group placement on Zoom. Calling all parents, grandparents, families, teachers, social workers, therapists, and supporters of youth. Anxiety, depression, suicide, loneliness, fear, drugs, and alcohol, human trafficking, and sexual immorality are just a few of the enemies which attack our youth daily. Let's go to war on their behalf through prayer. Join Elder John Amanchukwu with Parents in Prayer every first and third Wednesday, beginning March 3rd at 6 a.m. We are calling all of the K-12 youth worshiping servants who worship God to join our youth pastor, John Amanchukwu, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for Youth Bible Study. He will continue in the series, Faith That Works, and will minister from James 4. Please send an email to gn at powooden.org to receive the Zoom link and be sure to share it with a friend. It's back on. The 2021 Vision Keepers Leadership Conference will be held March 11th, 12th, and 14th here at the Upper Room, and this year's conference theme, Lead by Example, will enable us to be worshiping servants leading in spirit and truth. Thursday night, First Lady Pamela Wooden, Vice President of the Ministry, and Elder Anthony M. Wilson, President of the Vision Keepers Leadership Conference, will kick off this year's gathering with powerful messages. Friday night will be packed with interactive learning activities while practicing social distancing. Also, we have some Friday night explosion sessions featuring our very own Elder Clarence Rocky Rayford, along with Elder Robert L. Williams. Both nights will begin at 7.30 p.m. On Sunday morning, our preaching, teaching, singing, and leading Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will close out the Vision Keepers Conference during the 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. services. The Vision Keepers Conference will not be streamed and all activities will be held live in the sanctuary. Prepare yourselves and don't miss our 2021 Vision Keepers Leadership Conference. This is your time to lead by example. We look forward to seeing you there. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Be sure to spread the word to your family, friends, and the community. The Upper Room offers two services every Sunday morning. Join us at 8 a.m. or 11 a.m. for Sunday worship service in the sanctuary. The Upper Room Church of God in Christ continues to abide by CDC social distancing guidelines. Our ushers will see all individuals entering the sanctuary and overflow areas. Only members from the same immediate family will be permitted to sit together, and everyone will be seated using designated markings providing a six feet diameter around each area. Additionally, temperature checks and hand sanitizing protocols have been added to further promote measures of safety. A hand sanitizer containing at least 60% alcohol will be provided and is required for entry. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. For additional information on face covering requirements in North Carolina, visit nc.gov. You can also join the Upper Room Church of God in Christ every Sunday at 11 a.m. and Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. for the live stream of our services on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will bring a fresh word from the Lord relevant to our times and equip you to contend for the faith. Thank you to our viewers throughout the United States and abroad for your weekly support of our broadcast. 
Please be reminded there are several ways to give to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. For online giving, please visit easytithe.com forward slash URC. Also, please use only one email address for each Easy Tithe account so we can properly track your giving. You may also visit our website, upperroomgospel.org, and select the Giving tab. Or you can mail your gift to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, Post Office Box 447, Garner, North Carolina, 27529. First-time text-to-give users can text URC Give to 45777, and you will receive a link to complete your giving. If you have used text to give before, you can simply enter the amount and fund. For example, $25 tithe to 45777. As always, thank you very much for supporting the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Something's going on.